Hi, I'm Katie Farrell with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to nourish not only your body, but your soul as well. And today we're gonna make one of my absolutely favorite desserts, and that's an icebox cake. Now, you may be thinking that an icebox cake is something that's frozen or goes in the freezer because it sounds like that, but actually all an icebox cake is a no-bake dessert. And what I love about this is it's so simple to make. And so to start, we're gonna start with some plain Greek yogurt, some uh, cream cheese, and actually if you can find, a lot of grocery stores carry Greek yogurt based cream cheese, so that's a little bit healthier. But here we just have reduced fat cream cheese, and so just a little bit goes a long way. We have eight ounces and we have a cup of Greek yogurt. Some stevia, and stevia is actually one of my favorite sweeteners to use because it is a natural form of sugar that doesn't affect your blood sugar at all. Um, and so a lot of times people say to me, you know, I don't really like stevia, so another good option is coconut sugar or sugar in the raw, any form of unprocessed sugar. So really I like, I like to just skip the white table sugar. And then we have some lemon juice and some vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix those up in a bowl. And what I love about this recipe is it is my go-to entertaining recipe. And what I mean by that is whenever I know that I'm gonna have people over, um, what I like to do is I like to have a few things for people to kind of snack on, and then I love to always have some sort of dessert. And the great thing about this is you can literally have just a few ingredients here on hand that I, you can see, and just mix it up in the bowl. You don't have to bake anything. You don't have to turn your oven on. You don't have to really think hard about you know prepping anything and making it look pretty and this dessert is gonna present beautifully and everyone will enjoy it. And it's a little bit healthier for you too. So we're just gonna mix that together. You wanna start with softened cream cheese, if you can. So this is a little bit cold and it, you can always use a hand mixer or a beater as well to kinda get the clumps out. But what I also love about this recipe is it's great to kinda make in a pinch when you say have someone you know surprise you and comes over and you're like oh I really didn't have anything planned, or you know a lot of times um, something that I've been trying to do more of is have people over such as neighbors and just have more casual invites where I just kind of open my doors up more to people in my neighborhood or my community and. Um, even with other believers where I just say, hey, you know, to my friends, come on over and we can do a Bible study and just hang out, spend some time together. And, you know, something that God spoke to me a few years ago is I used to feel like I had to do everything perfect, have everything ready to go in my house, have, you know, this big spread of food before I invited anyone over. And I put so much pressure on myself that honestly, I dreaded having people over. I almost never wanted to open up my doors to people. And then God really convicted me and showed me in his word that you know we are supposed to be um, just hospitable and showing the love of God and showing his light to people in our community and to people that he's placed in our lives. And also meet together with other believers and have fellowship because that's so important to lift one another up. And I think sometimes you know we get into our own little world and we kind of get isolated and we start to close off our doors because we want everything to be perfect. But if we look at the, the word of God and we see how Jesus fellowshiped with his disciples, he broke bread with them, he spent time with them, um, that really encouraged and strengthened their walk and also their relationship with him. And so when we meet together with other believers, that's one of the best things that we can do is just to encourage one another in the Lord. And also, like I said, even people who aren't believers, they need to see the light and the love of Jesus in us. And so when we open up our doors and our homes to uh, people who don't know the Lord, that's one of the best ways that we can show the light and love of Jesus. And so to that, I just added some uh, True Whip, which is just a natural form of Cool Whip but you can use any form of whipped topping. And I just kind of um, folded that in right at the end there once I mixed together the cream cheese mixture. And so you can see how creamy and delicious that looks. And uh, you can also do like a chocolate or a peanut butter base to this. You can do different kinds of crackers. So here I have some graham crackers. You could do gluten-free graham crackers. You could do chocolate uh, graham crackers. So really any kind of cracker that just is thin and crispy 
And uh, I actually have some people in my family who are gluten-free. So I usually look for either gluten-free graham crackers or I look for a gluten-free cookie, anything that's just crisp. So I'm gonna lay, layer those uh, crackers on the bottom of an eight by eight dish. And then I'm going to kind of just spoon on top half of this cream mixture. And you can see how this is so easy. I mean, you could even do this with your kids. And you're just gonna kind of spread that out as best as you can. I'm gonna get a spatula here that'll help me. You can even pipe this on. It'll make it just a little bit easier, but it's pretty easy. It's, it's nice and smooth. And then you just repeat the layers just like you would almost a lasagna. So a lot of times I like to do this with different flavors, like I said, with chocolate or peanut butter. Um, and then do some cookies and some, maybe a little bit of sprinkle of just some chocolate chips in between the layers. And so it doesn't have to look pretty or perfect because you are gonna put this in the fridge and it will all come together so nice. So that is the second layer right there. And then we'll do one more. And the graham crackers don't have to line up perfectly. They can just kind of be forming a layer. And so that's one of the things that, speaking of being perfect, that God has really shown me is that people don't really want perfect. What they want is they want to see real people. You know, they want to see the heart of Jesus. And that's what ultimately everyone is looking for, is the love that Jesus can give them. And so when we open up our doors and we open up, you know, our hearts and just show people realness, that's what people are looking for today. And so, um, you know, even when it comes to your food or your house, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's something I think as women, a lot of times we put pressure on ourselves that everything has to look perfect and be perfect before we can let anybody in. But I'll tell you, God's been showing me a lot about that and just about what people really need is him. So then what we're gonna do, since we topped that with the second layer of the whip topping, is we're gonna put some fruit on top. And this is gonna be like our summer version of the icebox cake, but you could do, uh, like I said, you could do chocolate chips on top here, and you can make it pretty just however you want it to look. I'm gonna just kinda do like a little pattern. You could do like a flag pattern if it was uh, the summer or 4th of July. And you can see here on my finished product, that's what I did was almost like a flag pattern. Um, but you can continue to do more strawberries. You can do some blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, whatever you'd like. And so this was just such a simple recipe. It was actually fun to make. It took me a few minutes and I only needed a few ingredients. And then it serves up perfectly. You just put it in your fridge for about three to four hours. Um, really, even if you just let it sit for about a half hour and just chilled it through, it would be great and delish, delicious to serve. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like on the inside as well. What you're looking for is once it sits for, I'd say at least three to four hours, then the crackers get kind of softened and then you have the layers in there and you can see I put some berries in there and so you can layer some berries in the middle as well and then the cookies just get softened and it's absolutely delicious. I don't know anyone who doesn't like this icebox cake in some form or fashion. So make it your next gathering or the next time that you open up your home to your family and friends. I hope that this encouraged you today to shine the light and love of Jesus in your home and for this recipe and more just like it, you can head over to ctvn.org.